my lovely people good morning good afternoon good evening good night welcome to my youtube channel my name is jen this is the first time that you're laying your eyes on this beauty thank you so much for stopping by marathon subscribers mm, big hugs and kisses from me mm, to you thank you thank you i appreciate you please give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you have not and i thank every one of you that have subscribed i cannot thank you enough you guys are the best thank you Ah, did you guys are you guys hearing what is happening with a uh, this uh, everything that is happening in Nigeria? <laughs> I reward people, I reward you to lead that came out and said who said that now uh Igbo people are not supposed to be presidents? They are supposed to be president, they can be presidents of this federal republic of Nigeria. But the only thing they need to uh, contribute to the growth of the country. Eh? Contribute to the growth of the country. Mm -hmm. Contribute to the growth of the country. Ibo, so contribute to the growth of the country. And then apologize to Nigeria for what they have done. I don't know what they have done. Is it the, the, the Biafran war that Nigeria took it? to uh, Biafran land, which is a Igbo land, and deleted millions. Some people said three millions. Some write-up said five millions. They deleted people in millions. They made people so hungry, like what is happening now. They made them so hungry. The whole Nigeria, the, the north and the south, guide, guide themselves together and fought against the Igbos, deleting them like no man business. He, what in, now Ali what people say nobody said that you guys cannot be president but you need to show that you belong in Nigeria you need to show that you really um show some nobody understood those English you know the people didn't go to school they don't understand what they are saying hmm? and as I was thinking I'm trying to put that in my head and understand it hmm? This woman that you are looking at is demanding is demanding for Nigeria to divide because during hunger time like now that Nigeria the Igbo people are not protesting. Uh -huh now. Hey! This woman you are looking at said now that things are bad in Nigeria Igbo people are not protesting. If they are not going to protest to show how bad things are in Nigeria. Divide Nigeria, let Igbo people go. And for some funny reason, this woman is thinking that he, if the place is divided today, that in Igbos, that's what they are crying for, for you guys to do. But you guys cannot do it because there's nobody there with balls. All Igbo people really needed, if we have a good leader, all Igbo people really needed is for an, an a, in short, for a leader to come out and said and said we are very very sorry for what we did to you guys in biafran war that killed a lot of people we are very very sorry nobody says that you guys cannot be the prison why would they even say you guys but that's what they call us you guys we are you guys and they said this woman said we can we cannot be in Nigeria if we are not protesting. So they are protesting, trying to get Nigeria out to come uh, get Igbo people out to come and protest, so they can send army and police to go over there and delete them the more. So they can just that's exactly I did not know about that part until I see people started coming out and saying Igbos if they don't. If they don't protest for this and divide the country, let them go. This will be the happiest day of every Igbo person's life. Divide it and let us watch how you guys are going to make it in, in, in the next couple of what. All the people that are talking rubbish, they're just talking for themselves. I just wish and hope that they can listen to those people that are telling them. Instead of fixing the country, giving light, the, what the evil people are saying is fix the country, make it livable for human beings to live. That's all they're saying. That's all on the cano said. Oh, now the cano didn't say more than this. Oh, make it livable. Now the cano said, Can you hear me? And there, what did that do to them? All I did was do for 
<coughs> it was the same way that you are doing for uh, Yoruba Aosa or whatever. They say bring me and let let me whatever. You see, so this woman that is calling that no Igbo protest shall divide the country. And then to top it all up, to top it up, the former president, hey God, the former president of Nigeria that they call Gowan hmm, came out. You know, in Nigeria today, they don't do history. Uh, they don't teach history. When I was in school, they used to teach history, all oh, this uh, nonsense. Uh, they, they, they don't teach history of Nigeria. They don't teach it so people will not learn the evil that they have done in Nigeria. They don't teach it so that they will know that they are the problem in Nigeria, not the Igbos. This go one man. Yeah, and him and uh, 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 they had agreement, some kind of agreement because of how they were deleting the Igbos. Ujuku got up and said, mm -mm, enough is enough, you guys... They have some kind of agreement, but this go one, this one now that is talking, that is collecting Nigerian pension since he left as a president, that is collecting millions and millions of Nigeria every month that Peter Obi never did, came out to, to support Ahmed Bolatinubu. Say, you are not doing anything wrong. Continue what you are doing. That's exactly what they did when I was there. When I went for war in Biafra, didn't I succeed? Continue what you are doing. I told you guys that whatever it is that they are doing, hmm? they are doing it to trigger Igbos to come out so they can go over their war to delete them again. That is, This is the more reason why Igbo people should not even venture to come out. Continue doing your business. No matter how expensive it is, it will be better. A former president of Nigeria, you want to know how he said it? Well, listen to how he said it. If I remembered, I was told that in famine, I was fighting the war, I was too slow, and uh, you know, probably we, we can, Nigeria cannot make it, and that we should not seek for a, a, a discussion. Well, did we do it or not? You mean, after deleting millions of people, innocent millions, mothers, fathers, children, Mm? He came out to brag and tell Tinubu, continue what you're doing. Uh, Nigerians, they sabi they know how to talk and yab. They did it to me when I was a president, but didn't I succeed with the uh, Biafran war? Biafran war, you would think Biafran war is like Ethiopia fighting Nigeria. You would think it's a, a, um, whatever country fighting uh, Biafra. It is the Aosa and Yoruba fighting the Igbos for even for saying we need to belong in this country. That they said Igbo people have too much sense. We don't want to bring them close. This man came out and supported Ahmed Bolatinuba and said, "Continue what you are doing. They will always talk after all. They said the same thing when I was the president, but I succeeded in the war and I dealt with them. That's exactly what he's saying in a simple English. So this is to let you guys know that what these people are doing is just to bring the the Igbos out so that they can use it to start a war again." To go to the same place. Because if Igbos show up on the road, what is happening in a, in the north and in the south? It's nothing. Compared to when they come, everywhere will shake. Compared to when they come, that they're going to make noise. Compared to when they come out. But they will not do it because they know you're, what you're thinking. They know that you are thinking that if they come out. Now they will uh, blame it on the iPod. They will then start calling them the terrorists. But they have terrorists in the uh, 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 north, south, everywhere. They don't want to go after them. Instead, they are babying them and giving them food. Instead, they are bringing them and putting them inside police and inside the army. But once they see iPod now come out to, to say that they are protecting our people in the bush. Eh? They say, you see, we told you guys that Igbo people are the problem. That's when they will make use of these armies, these useless armies, these useless and, and 
boneless armies we have in Nigeria. And they will send them. They say, hey, okay, go to the east and delete them over there. And that's when you will see them go over there, take women, carry women for the ones that they will go and carry, go sleep with. And then they delete millions of people. That's what they are looking for. And that's what uh, this president, this former president is telling Ahmed Bolatinobo. Continue what you are doing. We are behind you. Continue, continue. They did it to me and I succeeded. I, psh, don't leave these people. Let them. That shows you what. Would you come out again tomorrow to go and fight for them? Would you come out tomorrow? Do you will still allow them to use you as thugs. You will still allow these people that are talking to you anyhow. Say, ah! Go deal, go deal with them. After all, they talk with me. Would you still allow it? Can you just think about it in your head that a former president is telling a president that is deleting their people, a president that is making their people hungry, a president that have no clue. Go ahead with what you are doing. They did it to me when I was a president, but I succeeded in the war with them. Um, their friend people. So my people. Leave your message. I will read your message. I don't know. I, 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 I'm speechless hearing everything that is happening in Nigeria. But leave your message. I will reply you from me to you. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Thank you.